Bam. And to maneuver around in this, it's a it's pretty much the same thing. Your left mouse button will uh, select things, but because we're in a 2D space, there's no reason to tumble. So our middle mouse button is what's moving this around. And then we zoom in with the uh, right mouse button key. And uh, while in UV mode, we're and you can see this UV 0 to 1 space, as and it's stretched out over it. You really don't want to mess with uh, the scale of these things because that everything is going to be generally really uniform. And uh, let's learn the biggest function of Hedis. Aside from slicing and looking at all your UVs in 3D space, like this, you can do this by hitting 3. Let's go back to the UV editor by pushing U. Um, one of the big advantages of this is the, its ability to flatten. And the flatten hotkey is F, just as you would expect. So let's take this middle part because it's nice. It's a nice even piece of geometry really simple and let's hit flatten on it so hit F and you can see what Hedis is trying to do it flat flattens it out and turns it all sorts of colors and uh, you'll, you'll see with some of these other objects that it's uh, uh, really easy to do and so now this 3D object has been flattened on this 2D UV space and uh, you can maneuver it by holding the magic key for this is uh, the space bar the space bar in conjunction with the mouse button clicks will totally be able to move all these flattened objects around so if you hold spacebar and hit the uh, left mouse button key you can uh, rotate it the middle mouse button will move it and here's the caveat you don't really want to do this very much because the the UVs right now without messing around with them too much are pretty much on even spacing and what space and the right mouse button will do is change the scale and I know it's really tempting to really mess around in here and get everything to work and congregate properly in this little zero to one space but I would save for using that I would save doing that for a bigger program like Maya which has a lot more tools to it and the UV editing I mean you can just do just about everything in here take one move it and there's it's a lot it's just a lot more robust in other programs and uh, let's close this off real quick. But I know it's tempting to change around the scale in Hedis just to get everything to fit. It's really nice. But uh, I suggest you know holding off on that because you could really mess up some stuff. In particular, your ratio, your magic ratio that Hedis does work so hard for you. So let's move these objects in here. Let's, let's, let's flatten this little top hat over here and see what's going on. So let's bleh. And uh, Hedis does some weird stuff. As, <laughs> as you get more heavy poly counts, it does look a little creepy. And um, you can tell the difference right now in this red and green colors that we have on these flattened objects. Everybody, uh, UV, um, UVs and Hedis, the greener they are, the happier they are. And blue is almost super amazing. But red, the more pink and red that this becomes, the more uh, unproportional the UV spaces and the texel density and so everybody you wanna generally work and strive to get everything green as possible um, we'll make some more examples over here so let's take this object let's move him out of the way and then we're gonna hit the unfold key again F for unfold and you can see how it moves kind of creepy and organic and it looks a little gross actually <laughs> and uh, you can see what's happening here now this, uh, it, like I said, the magic color to be is green. And if we switch over to our 3D preview by pushing 3, you can now really see what the texel density is on this. So this, all this green on the bottom part portion of the rock is all nice and stuff, but this hat is really unhappy. Looks like a little zit that it has up there. It's all red and irritated. So let's go back to the UV editor, and we'll see what we can do over here. And a lot of the tools that you've used in the previous 3D perspective area will work here so let's make this hat a little bit happier and just like this portion of the rock where we sliced it over here we're gonna make another slice here but we don't have the slice function here we do have the cut function however so let's go to one of these edges and we'll make a cut right here and we've just made that cut just like we would a slice over here and then let's try unfolding that again by pushing the F key and you can see it got a little bit happier not too too much but you know at least two sides are much better and if we check the 3D preview again by pushing 3 you can see that it's a little less uh, a little less pink more salmony I don't know 
What is that color? No one knows. And uh, it, w it probably won't ever get too super happy, but yeah, let's move these around a bit. Get these working all properly. And there's a couple of other keys that you can do to make some of this stuff work. Now, I use, <laughs> use caution when using these. These are pretty extreme sometimes, and uh, only in, they're only available here in UV edit mode. And so the hotkeys for that is when you're massing over something are the B, C, and X, and the X uh, hotkeys on the keyboard. The B is kind of a is is the old school version on older versions of Hedis before the F key was introduced just to flatten out everything in general. You'd flatten out everything manually by pushing B and kind of massaging your UVs into place and flattening them out. You can't really tell because there's not much geometry to work with here. Um, but what you will see, we'll use this key just right now. Whoops, is the X key. The X key kind of it works as a collapse. Um, you got to be really careful with it because <laughs> it can have some really crazy results and uh, the flatten button won't work properly with it. But just to show you what it does, we can always undo this, is hover over it, hit X, and you can see that it's kind of like collapsing all this UVs. It's great for really personalizing everything, but uh, you can see where it's, it's really unhappy. I mean, look how red that looks. Darn it. No one likes to be red in this thing, and that's my favorite color. So if you try flattening it again, it's not going to happen. Um, you can always undo that, undo what you did, but just to recover from that, like it's sometimes it's really good to to really go in there and figure out what your UVs are doing, and you can you have a lot of control over it. Um, but once you've collapsed something using the X hotkey, the X brush, you can hit B, and that will kind of work the way it's supposed to. The flatten brush works because this is the way the old head has worked this way. But for now, let's just stick with F and the bees and stuff and just to get this out of the way so that's how you unwrap in Hedis. Uh it takes a lot getting used to but um, there's a lot of tools it, it really does cut down on a lot of unwrapping time especially if you have a really complex organic model um, I have modeled a uh, this 3d griffin that was I don't even feel like pulling it up right now <laughs> and it was a pain in, it was a pain in the butt to, to unwrap in Maya alone but I did use Hedis UV and it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. You can check it out on my website if you'd like. Um, so let's save this out now. This is our rock. Let's go back to our preview window. And uh, it's mostly happy with the exception of this little red mark that it has up there. It's because it, you could make it a little bit more efficient. But this is just a really quick tutorial. Well, sort of quick. Let's save this out again. Let's make another temp file. You can see it's transitioned over to the one, so it's available again. But you'll typically keep moving forward. I think if you create threes and fours, yeah, I can see the the other ones that make, and these are the ones that are available. So anyway, this 3D rock is now ready to be saved out. Let's go back to our UV editor. We'll hit save, and it goes back in this. And there's our temp files, so we can load them in case you cry or break something. And we'll just save this out down here. And this is kind of the other yucky part about their UI is uh, Amazing Rock No UVs will now be named Amazing Rock with UVs. So original. And you kind of set that up right here. And then we're going to hit save. There we go. And it showed up there. Let's dismiss this. I know. What does that mean? And so now we can kind of exit out of here. Let's exit. Do you really want to exit? Of course we do. I know what I'm doing. Not at all. So let's hide Mr. Array's Amazing Rock, the original one. Now look at these UVs. They were gross and based off of that cube that they were extruded from. And let's hide this. And let's re-import the Amazing Rock with UVs. So once this is the OBJ file that we fixed up with UVs in Hedis. Let's import that. And it looks, it should be in the exact same place, and it looks pretty much exactly the same. And if you check, this is our the outliner, you can check your graph editor or whatever you work with and whatever program. Uh, here's the Hedis OBJ export. You can always rename that because it does name that. It does slap on that naming convention. But if you go and open up our UVs in our UV editor, you can see that it's retained all this now. It's retained all the all your UV cuts and edits that you've done in Hedis. And so now you can just take your UVs and cram them down into these into this section of the UV editor. And there you go. 
I know it's a really gross, ugly rock, but it can be made pretty when it feels like it, and just run it through a light simulator, and everything will look good. And I hope this tutorial has helped you get started with Hedis UV. It's a, it's a pretty robust program. There's a lot of nuances. It does come with documentation, but it's a little wonky, and uh, I hope this helps to explain a little bit more of this. And we'll see you around for another tutorial. Take it easy. Have a good one.